Hi, I'm Wallace and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is the beginning of a new read-along and the schedule for this read-along will be up on the blog with a link down below here on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to join us, we're reading this through the month of August. We're just going to take a month. It's pretty thin. It's not a very um, long read, so we should be able to get through it easily. And I realized that I have chosen two books this summer that have to do with female suicide. That was not on purpose. I have no idea where that came from. There's no explanation other than they both were good reads for month-long reading sessions. They also both happen to have uh, significant things that happen in the summer, and I guess maybe that's part of why I chose them. There's something about reading a book that happens in the summertime during the summertime that's kind of fitting. Um, this one happens during a hot New York summer, and uh, right now, at least where I live, it's hot. So that really is the only reason I chose these books. I feel like I needed to explain that because it is a weird thing. She published it under the pseudonym Victoria Lucas at first. It was not published in the United States until 1971 for the wishes of her family. Um, we do know that it is parallel to her life and the fact that it chronicles her the beginning of her decline into depression and her experiences with depression. Uh, we know Sylvia Plath ultimately did commit suicide. That's how she died, but she did attempt suicide before that time period. Um, and this is, this book, shows us a little bit about what was going on possibly at that time. Again, it's not completely autobiographical, but it is um, it is based off of something that happened to her, her summer uh, writing in New York. The novel is known for highlighting some of the problems with the oppressively patriarchal um, society of the time that it was based in, like the 50s, 60s, and um, the character trying to break out of what she would be expected to do in her life, which is just to go be a housewife and raise a family and have no thoughts about that whatsoever. So not that there's anything wrong with doing that, and many people do that by choice, but the problem with the character in this book was that was not what she was sure that she wanted to do, yet it was what she was expected to do. She was trying to find a way to show her authentic identity and find a way to carve a path for an identity that maybe wasn't the norm at the time. Um, she wanted to write and she wasn't sure she wanted to be anybody's wife anytime soon. And it's going to be incredibly interesting also to find out the parallels between the book and what she was talking about in this day that it was written and then what it's like in 2014 because Though we've come far, there are still a lot of things that I think we're going to be able to relate to, which will be um, good topics for discussion. This is not to scare off the men. <laughs> Don't be afraid of reading this with us. This is not going to be a bra burning, rah rah feminist, men suck type of read along. So please don't be discouraged if you want to join in. I think it will be interesting for you as well. So if you would like to sign up, then you can either tell me in the comments here on YouTube, you can tell me in the comments on Unputdownables. Um, just let me know. I'd like to know if anybody else is reading along with me. I don't know if you read along with The Virgin Suicides or you saw the video that I did um, for the final review of that read along, but I'm trying to figure out a way to keep the discussion going in between videos. So I'll do this video as a starting post and I'll do a video at the end to wrap up the reading and allow you to give your thoughts as well. And we'll figure out a way in between to discuss the book um, and connect with each other. So stay tuned here, stay tuned on Unpit Downables if you're going to be reading this with us. And remember, I will be putting the reading schedule up on Unpit Downables. So if you are somebody who likes things broken down for you, um, I will d get that done and I will, have, I will have that up on the blog. So thanks for watching, thanks for reading. I'll see you next time, bye.